the Duchess of Cambridge stunned in an Alexander McQueen gown as she stepped out for a star-studded event at the National Portrait Gallery on Tuesday night. The floor-length creation featured the same delicate floral pattern and distinctive satin bands as the dress she wore to the BAFTAs in 2017. But while the original had a bardot neckline, the frock Kate wore last night boasted capped sleeves. Eagle-eyed royal fans also noted the flowers on the bodice lined up differently on the 2017 and 2019 dresses, leading some to speculate the top section had been replaced by a seamstress. Explaining how this could be achieved, Twitter user Biblio wrote, It's deconstructed then they make a new bodice either out of spare or original material and attached to the original skirt. Very clever work from her seamstress and great way to save money and get more wear out of the dress. However others speculated that Kate, 37, might have gone one step further and simply commissioned an almost identical version of the original dress, as she has been known to do with other favorite designer pieces. The gown, from Alexander McQueen's Resort 2016 collection, was originally designed with a bustier style bodice complete with thin straps. For her red carpet appearance two years ago, Kate sported an altered version that featured a flattering straight bardot neckline. Last night it was given yet another look, this time with small capped sleeves. The Duchess styled the gown with a Prada clutch, Jimmy Choo pumps and the pink morganite and diamond earrings Kiki McDonough earrings that she wore to Sister Pippa's wedding. Initially it was thought the sleeves had simply been replaced on the original dress to achieve the new look but detail-oriented commentators were quick to pose a different theory. Trusted royal fashion account what Kate Wore noted, the addition of the sleeves and elimination of the Bardot neckline were obvious. There was also a distinction if you looked closely at the print on the bodice, while it is the same as that used in the BAFTA gown, it is placed differently from the way it sits on the original dress. Other users pointed out the same discrepancy on Twitter. Quickly glancing, the flower placement across the bust doesn't appear to match on both. Anyone else agree? One asked. Another posted, I can't match the flowers do I think the top half is a new bodice? Looks much better. However others noted that the mismatch between the flowers continued in the middle band of the dress, leading some to believe this must have been replaced too. The top bodice piece above the thigh area must be one piece, one tweeted. That's completely different but the below the lower sash matches up. Other royal fans insisted it was a new gown entirely, and suggested the Duchess might have even had this version in her wardrobe for the last two years. I'm thinking two dresses were made for her and she selected the other one but decided she wanted to wear the other version now because she liked both, one suggested. What Kate wore added, it also looks like the skirt could be different as well, which would mean this isn't a reworked gown but a new piece. This would not be the first time the Duchess has doubled up on a wardrobe staple. She is known to have multiple pairs of hard-to-keep clean blush suede Rupert Sanderson pumps and trusty monsoon wedges. Kate also owns several versions of an Alexander McQueen coat dress, which she has worn to trooping the color, Princess Charlotte's christening and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's wedding.